there's a sense of euphoria that you get from, oh my gosh, I'm seeing something that hasn't ever been seen before, or you know, I'm seeing for the first time through my telescope. And uh, it's not just about astronomy or space science, but it's about exploring the world that we live in and appreciating this place that is the Earth that we live on. My name's Dave Warner. I'm the Director of Education for Colorado Springs Astronomical Society. And uh, tonight is a dark sky program that we have here at Florissant Fossil Beds National Monument, which is a monthly event that we do. Um, it's about an hour and 45 minutes in length, and, uh, and it's an opportunity for us to get out into really dark skies, uh, which is something that we can uh, take pleasure that we have here in Colorado. And uh, this is a dark sky park, so uh, one of the things that a dark sky park does is work to preserve um, the dark skies that we have in, in Colorado and educate people as well about um, what the importance of um, preserving our dark skies is. During the day, but we have a saying here that half the park is after dark. And because of this is what we're seeing here, uh, two years ago, the fossil bed was certified as an international dark sky park. It takes a lot to be certified by that organization. There's only 72 locations in the, in the entire United States that are certified as an international dark sky park, and we're one of them. And There's so, some other places that have dark sky designations, even here in Colorado, but we're, we're the closest to any populace. Everywhere else is uh, getting worse and worse with the, along the front range with the light pollution um, that, that we have from our cities. Um, that, uh, that we have to go further and further away and uh, away from those city sites to be able to enjoy these things. Blowing uh, gas and you see the stars embedded in it and there's the stars that have been born from that gas congealing. We're in the dark. We don't see each other. We don't know anything about them. But in that one moment in time when they come to, come to our star party and they look through our telescopes, there is no geographic boundary, there's no other identities, there's no politics. It is we are at that moment in time when we're looking at those stars up in the sky. We are one human race here on this planet Earth. And in that appreciation of the world and an understanding of the universe that we live in gives us that ability to better understand what we can do to help preserve this Earth that we live on.